heart like a river. If you pour a handful of salt into a cup of water, the water becomes undrinkable. But if you pour the salt into a river, people can continue to draw the water to cook, wash, and drink. The river is immense, and it has the capacity to receive, embrace, and transform. When our hearts are small, our understanding and compassion are limited and we suffer. We can't accept or tolerate others and their shortcomings and we demand that they change. But when our hearts are expanded, these same things don't make us suffer anymore. We have a lot of understanding and compassion and can embrace others. We accept others as they are and then they have a chance to transform. So the big question is, how do we help our hearts to grow? <clears throat> Feeding our love. Each of us can learn the art of nourishing happiness and love. Everything needs food to live, even love. If we don't know how to nourish our love, it withers. When we feed and support our own happiness, we are nourishing our ability to love. That's why to love means to learn the art of nourishing our happiness. Understanding is the true nature of love. Understanding someone's suffering is the best gift you can give another person. Understanding is love's other name. If you don't understand, you can't love. Recognizing true love. True love gives us beauty, freshness, solidity, freedom, and peace. True love includes a feeling of deep joy that we are alive. I'll read that again. True love includes a feeling of deep joy that we are alive. If we don't feel this way when we love, then it is not true love. Reverence is the nature of our love. There's a tradition in Asia of treating your partner with the respect you would accord a guest. This is true, even if you have been with your loved one for a long time. The other person always deserves your full respect. Reverence is the nature of our love. Forgive us for we know not what we do. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Love is expansive. In the beginning of a relationship, your love may include only you and the other person. But if you practice true love, very soon that love will grow and include all of us. The moment love stops growing, it begins to die. It's like a tree. If a tree stops growing, it begins to die. 
we can learn how to feed our love and help it continue to grow. Mm, sorry. <laughs> love is organic. <clears throat> Anyway, this is for family. So, you can forgive all of the boops and blunders. <laughs> Love is organic. Love is a living, breathing thing. There is no need to force it to grow in a particular direction. Hmm. <laughs> If we start by being easy and gentle with ourselves, I'll read that again. If we start by being easy and gentle with ourselves, we will find it is just there inside of us, solid and healing. Love is organic. Distractions. Often, we get crushes on others, not because we truly love and understand them, but to distract ourselves from suffering. When we learn to love and understand ourselves and have true compassion for ourselves, then we can truly love and understand another person. I'm going to go to 10 minutes and then I'm going to stop and do another one. The four elements of true love. True love is made up of four elements. Loving kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity. I love that word, equanimity. In Sanskrit, these are Maitri or Matri, Karuna, Mudita, and Upiksha. 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 If your love contains these elements, it will be healing and transforming, and it will have the elements of holiness in it. True love, true love has the power to heal and transform any situation and bring deep meaning to our lives. Loving kindness. The first element of true love is loving kindness. My glasses have fell all the way to my lip. <laughs> the first element of true love is loving kindness. The essence of loving kindness is being able to offer happiness. Oh. You can be the sunshine for another person. You can offer happiness until you, but, but you can't offer happiness until you have it for yourself. So build a home inside, inside of you by accepting yourself and learning to love and heal yourself. Learn how to practice mindfulness in such a way that you can create moments of happiness and joy for your own nourishment. Hallelujah. Then you have something. Then. Uh, then you have something to offer the other person. Blessings and abundance and all good things. 